Good evening. Ruan and I have prepared special content for you. We hope you like it, right? Before we start, we would like to mention this incredible code for our testing. The mind that's opening up to a new idea never returns to its original size. You like it? Yes, I like that. Let's start. Hello. My name is Bruno Kaufman, and I'm a collaborator of the Open Source Initiative. Um, I'm so Java Jagdidis too. I'm an organizer and co-author uh, of the book Jornada Java at the Jornada Collaborativa. And I, I'm a speaker too, and I love to love, love software, right? Can you introduce you, please? Okay. I'm, uh, hold on, it's a tick time, I don't know why. Okay, I'm a Juan. I, I work in the in Canada and GCP member. I work with some uh, open source projects and juggle in the so Java. I'm a contributor and book and blog writer and teacher. And today we're gonna present uh, this amazing uh, content about Apache KML tree for you guys. The purpose of this presentation is to go through the last version of Apache KML three and how to get, develop a good actors with this framework. So first, let's talk about business integration standards. Next, we will talk about what is Apache Camel and what is the, the most new features of Apache Camel 3. Then we'll talk about Spring Boot, Camel Key, Camel Corkers, and finally, talk about Camel Kafka. Well, um, right now, uh, we're going to introduce what is a, a Enterprise Integration Partners for an uh, inter introduction into the Cloud GA. So it's important uh, for introduction just to have a, a, a knowledge about that. Uh, basically, Apache Camel was based on this concept that uh, me and Bruno, we, we define it. Uh, with our own words, what, what it is, uh, integ integration, integ uh, enterprise integration partners, are a set of uh, a good practice that can guide you to integrate your application and production environment. So to, to make easy the process of development, to make easy your life, and to maintain and keep some standard. That's the main reason that in what it is uh, enterprise integration partner, okay? A good book that uh, that I would like to suggest to you. I have this book. It's in Brazil. Uh, I, I couldn't bring to me over here because I, I I moved it in January, and so I, I needed to decide some books. And I'm gonna bring in the next uh, trip my book. And so the Gregor Hope and Bob Wolf that uh, describe a 65 partners uh, for the best uh, use. Uh, good standards using messenger into the uh, middle providing uh, in terms of uh, uh, development process okay so uh, based on that today you have some uh, microservices apis even driven design so uh, it's important to keep this because this uh, i think that this book was uh, writing i guess the they wrote in in 2003 right and uh, almost there are almost 20 years. So even with that, this book keep um, good for nowadays because we have uh, microservices, APIs, even during design, everything that you use to, today, we can use with that. And so based on that, the Apache Camel brought some uh, new features, okay? So just a basic context, just uh, to, to know what it is a uh, message and channel. Basically, a channel, it's a, it's a kill, right? You have some uh, some kind of kills, uh, uh, a message system that it can create your kill. And the kill, it's uh, it's uh, something that can 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 deliver uh, a message between two points, point A, application A, and uh, application B. So you can put in the kill the your content and the application b can consume so you have the producer that the application a and the application b is going to be the consumer right 
And so uh, the mission assistant is this, the message that manager did this, this kind of deal, okay? And so it, it, the content is the message, right? Is this, this, in this example, the JSON, like ID, name, it's the, 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 the content. This is the, 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 the message, okay? So what is the message assistant? Basically, it's a, it's a assistant that managing the channel, the kill, right? And you can work uh, with a message assistant. In, in, in 2012, I, I used to work with ActiveMQ, right? And so you can have two opportunities to work in the volatile and non volatile memory, okay? With or without a data persistence and deliver the message end to end. It is a, he's managed that. He's responsible to pick up the message from the producer and deliver it to the consumer, okay? So there are some examples of RevitMQ and uh, ActiveMQ of message systems over here. And that's it. So uh, based on that, uh, we have uh, seven subsets of uh, six uh, five partners. I'm going just to show you. I'm not going deep uh, on, on each uh, partner because we don't have time. Okay, the, uh, the main... Uh, purpose over here is just to show that there are uh, 65 and they are uh, split in uh, some sets and subsets like for the level of application we have some message endpoints that you can have a, a bunch of uh, uh, a subsets of partners like uh, such as uh, even direct consumer that's uh, most of the people can use nowadays so, uh, we have the message of uh, construct it's based on uh, on the message, right? Have some message, the common message, the event message. That's uh, another thing that we use a lot nowadays. Uh, in terms of uh, channel, we have message channels, uh, partners as well, like message bus, message bridge, channel adapter. I used to use a lot of uh, channel adapter in my, last, my previous um, job. And we have uh, also the, in terms of how to decide where you're going to deliver uh, so, such kind of message, you can uh, you can have uh, this message routing uh, sets over here, and this is really important because you can uh, like you can uh, deliver something based on some filter. You can route something to the uh, kind of kill and to another kill. You can deliver uh, uh, another kind of um, message. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, translator as well, because you can translate something to deliver it to the application. Because uh, think something like um, you can imagine that uh, basically uh, the application A talks one kind, talk uh, understands some kind of message, and the application B uh, can understand another kind of message. You need to translate from the A to B. So there are some partners to to translate, like message translate. And content field as well, and normalizer, canonical data model is to use a lot of. And to monitoring, you have some control bus, some uh, system management. There are those of uh, uh, sets and subsets of uh, the 65 partners you can find uh, in this link. We I extracted the, the image in the enterprise integration partners.com. Okay, that's a really, really, really good uh, partner that you can use uh, nowadays. Well, uh, in the cloud change, uh, the, the guys that wrote a book, uh, they updated uh, with some uh, ramblings, um, uh, such as of, uh, based on the partners that they have, like um, publish a subscribe channel. They have uh, a Google Cloud Pub Sub using that. You have something like uh, Apache Kafka uh, competing uh, consumers, and the Amazon SQLs, SQLs. Uh, and the channel purger. So we have something that they are using in the cloud age. And so this is really, really important because almost 20 years ago and this keep updated. So that's really, really amazing. Okay, I will let you talk, Bruno, okay? Okay. Now guys, we'll talk about what is a Pesh cameo, right? When we talk about Pesh cameo, we think about integration. Okay, no application runs alone today, especially in the cloud area of microservices and serverless. Apache Camel is coming handily from integration. We can call the Swift ARM knife for integration. 
it implements the most business integration standards for enterprise integration uh, partners, ha, uh, as Ron says. And we can imagine it is a messenger. You tell it, get that from one place and send to another place, right? This is a main function it, to deliver letters being application. And when it's a failures, we have what are called dead letter, okay? And the, the another thing that Apache can use is a routing machine. It is a wide list of writer available that you can use. And the main are filtering, resequencing, splitter, and aggregator. Like I say, the Apache Camel is a swift knife of integration. But Spring has an integration framework too. But the Camel has a lot of APIs implemented and less verbose framework. Right? Can you pass the slide, please? Okay. The next, please. As you see, the Apache Camel is a more complete and less verbose frameworks for integration. With Apache Camel, it's, it is possible to write your holos using a specific, specific DSL domain language, right? And, and uh, what is this, the, the DS language? DS language is a language focused on the specific aspect of a software system, and that, that is the core Pashu Camel. Okay, right? Ron, could you please yeah. pass it? The slide. Next. Okay. Um, these are some uh, some supports the follow domain specific language uh, uh, cam Camel supports. The Camel supports uh, Java, DSL, um, Spring and many others uh, 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 technologies, for example, Blueprint XML, REST DSL, and Annotation DSL. Next. So when to use Apache Camel? Apache Camel is the most integration framework used that at the moment it's integrated, it reduces systems, but is not a silver bullet. Pay attention for this, right? It is, doesn't matter what system uh, protocol or the technology that you use. Apache Camel is most amazing options do you have to integration your application. For example, there are total numbers of commits on GitHub at the moment. Please, next. We have uh, 46, uh, seven and uh, one commits to, uh, is a total numbers of commits. Please, next. And we have to 3.4 key numbers of stator com GitHub and 4,054 numbers of closed pull requests and 654 total numbers of contributors on the Git. The numbers are very large, guys. Next, please. So when not to use Apache Camel? It doesn't matter what system protocol or technology that you use. Pasha Camel is not is most amazing option to have to integrate your application. For example, these are total numbers of on commit GitHub at the moment. Yes, as I say, a Pasha Camel is not a silver bullet. There are scenarios that you don't use it. For example, imagine that you need to integrate on or two technologies, for example. Uh, read a file and send a message to a key. Probably, for instance, you most use a library to read the file and send J GMS message to be an inhabit key. key. In these scenarios, we don't need to use camera. We don't need recommend to use camera. Okay. Next, please. Oh. The, the, this, this is a big picture of a Pesh Camel. This is the place of magic. The magic flow uh, uh, is how a Pesh Camel works. 
we have a camel context that's where it is a co container where you wrote are run next you have a root where is a flow in, in, in a bash camel and end points where you receive the message in having the simplest you hear, you hear apis a apis enterprise integration patterns and you were our process that message and finally with the point that the patch came will send the max uh, message for for outing okay what is new in the patch came well uh when they launch uh they released the the the, the patch came tree these three projects uh were uh in the family of projects, right? So we have an integration uh, framework, uh, Camel K and uh, Camel Parkers. That's uh, it's good uh, opportunity to work with uh, such a kind of uh, this uh, frameworks, right? And uh, they uh, have a new website as well. They release uh, everything with uh, Java 11. And so uh, uh, Pash Camion Tree can work uh, with uh, with uh, Java 11 right now. So this is an amazing thing. So they, another advantage right now, they modularize it, uh, the Camion Core because um, before a Pash Tree, it was, uh, there, there was uh, one uh, jar and they, they, they broke down uh, the jars in 33 uh, camel jars, okay, in case of a camel core. And the camel core engine was, uh, they, they, they broke down uh, in uh, 12 camel jars. So we have more modularity and you can choose and uh, and uh, import exactly what you need. You don't need to import everything. That's a, a great, great uh, thing. For example, uh, if I want to use uh, the camel core or the camel, um, Util, I just need to import uh, this kind of uh, library. So there's no need to 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 have everything loading in the R application. That's uh, that's a really really cool. So uh, another thing that's uh, really really cool. It's uh, this is um, comparative uh, with a Quarkus, and they faster startup and lower footprint uh, because we have a Graal VM uh, running in the, in the background with a Krakus and they are using uh, less memory and the startup is like milliseconds. So it's really, really, really fast. Thanks for the uh, using uh, Krakus. And another thing that's a, that's a great, it's a type safe endpoint SL because in the example before, we used to have uh, like from to, and we have all the, the URI you know, like timer, click, and period like uh, equal to 2000 and fixed rate uh, true. And now you can uh, use the the, the type safe uh, endpoint DSL like a function, like timer, and you can put the, like a parameter and period and fixed rate. This is another thing that's really, really, really uh, good. And, and to development to, 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 to change this stuff because it's uh, easiest to to manage the content and uh, your language. Okay, it's up to you now. So, this for me is the most new features of Apache Camel Three. Now is fully reactive code. In this version, the Apache Camel the main routine mechanism has been written and adapted to work with reactive mode. Take the structure of the next level, please. Next, we have to a new future. Um, Camel Man with the Camel Man, we you, you could compact your application in a single jar fact, uh, artifact. You can run Camel now automatically, and this mode uses to run Camel as long via the main class. Excellent from Camel Man. Please, next. So, th this is another, another great thing. Uh, now, Pash Camel 
um, extended uh, micro profile uh, features, uh, for example, fate tolerance. We now got a, now a secret breaker with the micro profile fault tolerance library. We have to config and allowing to use configuration management from Eclipse profile with Camel, integrate with Camel. We have uh, a health and another great thing, a micro profile uh, framework project, right? And we now got now to check uh, healthy applications writing in, in Camel. Next. So we have uh, uh, someone's miscellaneous mis mis components. We have an uh, open API. We now support the specification, uh, OpenAI specification documents. We have to, another thing is uh, open intelligence and uh, implement the observatory service with this process of three supports. We have to open tracking to um, tracking the time coming on the uh, Camel messages. Yes. Next one, please. And we have some improvements too. Now, Camel supports is gene units. You have it, uh, Camel registers. We also writable and and we can and uh, add a beam to resist at, at, at runtime. We have a laser star, a laser star two. With uh, with these filters, we the, the road will start up and the the will first fail when the message wrote to the point and that's is another thing uh basho apache camel 3. so okay um before the apache camel 3 uh we used to have uh we used to have uh, um, a spring boot already and right now we have uh, as, you, as you can see camel k and uh carcus and well, one of the most uh, changed over here was the library, the package library. They changed for Spring Boot, and and I'm gonna give you one uh, some example over here. So uh, it's a, I I prepared this uh, thing over here because based on the, on the you have in the companies right now, my microservices in the cloud day, they have a microservice everywhere. Uh, such as the, the 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 classical example of uh, Netflix, uh, of course, uh, using the uh, the Spring Cloud. Uh, there are two strong concepts uh, in distributed systems that are part of uh, Camel components. Uh, one of them, uh, Bruno told us uh, a couple of minutes ago, that's a, a secret break, right? It's a micro profile stuff. And another one, Saga, they, they helped us to, to develop some Saga partner. That's uh, really, really cool because you can have your microservices and, and keep your transaction like uh, exit transaction. And if you some, well, something doesn't go well, you can uh, roll back everything and don't uh, finish the, the transaction based on that. So if you want to create some uh, camera project uh, with your spring, go to the start in the spring.io, basically. And you need uh, to add the dependencies uh, in the right, right? And generate your package. And you're going to download. And you have uh, to, to have this one. I, in my case, I use the 3.4.1 uh, version of uh, Spring uh, Apache Camel. And basically, what are you going to do? Every um, uh, every uh, Apache Camel project must to have uh, the route. And the route is the core of everything. So you must to, to extend the route builder. And based on that, you need to implement your uh, configure uh, method uh, with uh, from some place to another uh, place, right? You need to start from somewhere else and to another place i'm gonna give you another example in this case uh it's a, a small example and that's i'm moving the files from input to output okay uh i implemented the the timer uh, for in the period of uh i didn't use the the save for the endpoint dsl okay but in this case i i put a timer i i could use the the saved endpoint 
And my first came an example and the period of uh, 10, every 10 seconds, I'm going to log and enrich the, the, the message. What I'm going to do to enrich is uh, grabbing the, 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 the files from input, delete and move to the data output. And the output is going to be like this. Okay. The example that I run in my machine. Okay. Well, the, another thing that's good, you can test, do your Unity test. You just need to import this uh, library, uh, this package to, to make some tests. And in, in my case, in the case of uh, the, the my, my example before, I, I tested my input and output moving and the assert is going to be true. I ran in my machine and voila, we have uh, everything working very well. Uh, one example of API, uh, what is uh, really, really easy to, to make with uh, Spring Boot, basically, uh, it's uh, using REST DSL. It's another example that's really, really cool. You can uh, have uh, your component with REST DSL and your endpoints over there and do everything that you need. And over here, I have uh, two endpoints. One get uh, the records and not to say hello. Okay, that I ran and how, how to do that. So what, what I need to do is basically, as I told you before, you need to uh, extend uh, my component route, like employing route in this case, uh, extend to route builder. And based on that, I need to, to do the setup with a REST configuration with a REST binding uh, mode.json. And based on that, I, I, I going to start to, to use the, the REST install like produces what, what I'm going to produce application JSON. And I'm going to get my my first endpoint that's going to be a hello and some uh, variable that's it's going to be the name of the people in that case. As you can see, it's a Peter, OK? And I'm going to do a route, a transformation to a simple message. What it's going to be is like, hello, the name of the guy that I, I, I grabbed from the header. And welcome to the Apache Camel tree in the call change. And this uh, end rest is the the end of the the the, the end of the the rest uh, endpoint get to hello. Okay. And another uh, endpoint is the records and the name. And I'm going to direct to the, the direct to the records. And what is the this records gonna do? I, I gonna to, to if, if you can see in the line 22, there is a from another beginner direct records, right? And I'm going to process this message. I'm going to do something in the terms of a class, in the level of class, okay? And so uh, I implement this uh, new employee processor, as you can see over here. And uh, I'm uh, doing some uh, stuff and grabbing the name and setting the body to 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 answer in the JSON in terms of uh, JSON format, and this is uh, a Bing that you need. In, you need to to have a configuration uh, in your uh, in your project, and you need to set up or servlet a uh, restriction Bing to to run the Apache Camel. It's necessary to do that. Okay, Bruno, it's up to you. Okay, now we'll talk about. Came in free next generation in cloud age, okay, right? Mm, the development of native cloud application are no longer of the future, but it, it's the present right now. We only need to check Gatner's prediction and we see the creep leap in speed in development, right? Now the Apache Cam application can run a ready support with some components that you could integrate Microsoft and another heterogeneous uh, systems. Next, please. Apache, Apache Cam, uh, Cam already support some components that you integrate Microsoft and another heterogeneous system, right? Um, on on other thing. The biggest news in the ad adoptions of CNCF is the Apache Camera's integration platform. Please, next. Okay. 
now how how you could uh, see Apache Camel now is a part of CNCF in the integration platform, right? Next, please. Okay. Um, Apache Cam Key is a light of integration platform born to be wide. No, no. Born to own Kubernetes, right? With a several to superpower. Yeah, it's a Kubernetes based, so it's a considered a cloud native. That's a cool, right? Next, please. This um, a simple example. Uh, how can uh, we we work a Apache Camel Key? Mm, we just create a Camel Key Cloud Age dot Groove file. And we have a, um, a, a, a root with a tweak, with a pair of uh, th uh, 3,000 uh, uh, milliseconds. And we, we, we put this in, in the bottom constants, uh, patch chemical key in the cloud gate to uh, a log file, right? For uh, you execute this file, you just um, a run with the, and put past the file and you 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 integrate image list from the cloud nothing else in need next okay gonna give uh talk a little bit about the uh, camera crowbus it's uh it was released in the Apache camera tree in the end of the year as well and uh Basically, uh, what is Quarkus? It's a framework uh, that implements a microprofile 3.2. Uh, as we, uh, Bruno told us before, the Kubernetes native uh, Java framework. And uh, Quarkus was made it, uh, to basically to make and our lives uh, easy. Okay. Yeah, to the, basically on the, based on the, the container first philosophy. Okay. And uh, basically to start fast and using uh, low memory. Okay, that's uh, what it means. Uh, I took this uh, message from over there. So how we can um, run your first uh, REST? I like to, to give always uh, the example of your REST because uh, I, I work with REST. And so how I ran my first example in Quark was uh, normally I grabbed this uh, this uh, camel crack was example from Git, okay, and I check out the last uh, latest uh, tag, and I grab the 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 rest uh, JSON, okay, and I run the uh, compile, and you can run this example about fruits, that's uh, really 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 nice. And another thing that uh, you can do by yourself if you don't want to use uh, some. Uh, kind of uh, project, you can go to the start microprofile.io and you can uh, download and create your project and import the libraries, uh, putting your libraries in the Navy, uh, in the Quarkus. That's a good opportunity who works with Quarkus, right? Uh, and right now we're gonna, it's up to you, man. Okay, please next slide uh, one. Okay, and the last thing we would like to present to you is the new Kafka connector. With, with Kafka connector, we can transmit data with a scalable and reliable way between Kafka, Apache Kafka and another system. And it has a made it. Uh, it's even simpler and to quickly define the connectors to move a large connections of data in and out of Kafka. Next. Okay. Um, Kafka can, uh, connectors break boundaries, right? Uh, uh, next, please. Okay, we will talk about uh, the the Kafka connectors uh, right now. What, what types of Kafka connectors do we have? We have basically two type connectors, right? And we have a source connectors that import data from application to Kafka. And we have a, a scheme, the connectors support data from Kafka. 
Next, please. Kafka connector aggregation is another thing that's new on Kafka connector. I should say one thing at least. The patch connector already implements an enterprise integration pattern. Or however, the community chose to, to take an advantage um, of uh, what already uh, exists in Apache Cam to make connector even easier to use. And the last thing is a Kafka connector. Kafka, uh, Kafka connector archetype. Kafka connector type is just uh, uh, to able to extend the process to an archetype. Right, like a major archetype. Um, in this in, in this example, we create a Kafka uh, Camo Kafka connector project, which we extend using following comments below. Next, please. Okay, here was some reference. Right, we pick the, this reference in some places. Um, if you knows about knows about Camel, uh, you, you, you can be in a patch Camel uh, site, you, you, you have a, a, a other site uh, that's been big interesting uh, to show, Camel Free News, and some credits for uh, building and to make the, this presentation, right? We, we pick these presentations from Slides Go, and icons, flat icons, and images for graphics by um, Freeper Peak. That is Freeper Peak, right? Max. So, guys, that's it. Thank you. Does, does anyone have a question for, for us? We're going to keep it there over here for a couple more minutes. Okay. To to talk to you, answer the, the questions for you. If you have some questions, let us know. Oh, one, we have a, one question. What is the user cases for a user came, uh, came with Kafka? Uh, do you want to answer that? Basically, uh, if, you want, if you need to use uh, Kafka, if you're using, decided to use Kafka, and you need to implement some kind of a partners that you need, and you have a opportunity to use the those of two connectors that uh, Bruno uh, mentioned before, uh, that's a good opportunity to use uh, a camera with Kafka, okay? Yeah. First of all, you, you need to, to verify if uh, basically which kind of parting that you need to use to use camel. And if you want to need to use the Kafka for the message system as a message system, you, you and with that kind of connectors as uh, Bruno mentioned, I think that uh, should be a good uh, opportunity to use that. Thank you, Hazu, for the question. I don't know how to speak your first name. Sorry. Mashandran. Mashandran. That's a beautiful, beautiful name. Thank you. Hey guys, one more cash on. One, two, three, last chance. Okay. Okay, I think it, it, yeah, that's it, Ron. I think as well. Thank you, everybody. And uh, that's it. Thank you, everybody. 
It's a good pleasure to stay with us yeah. here tonight. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Camila. Thank you.